Hello and welcome to SOS Creativity TV episode 6. Today we're going to be looking at 18 ways to build a strong brand. This episode is going to be cut into three different series, so make sure you like, share and subscribe so you don't miss any parts of this. With that being said, well, let's jump right into it. Number one, be instantly recognisable. You want your brand to be differentiated from a multitude of other brands. So but for you to be able to do this, you need to make sure the color that you use is correct, the font choice that you decide to go with is absolutely paramount, and the design style, because this is what would help you separate yourself from millions of other brands. By someone being able to pick out your brand, your logo straight away, whether that be due to the color that you've used or the fonts that you've used, this will help you become instantly recognizable, which will help you build your brand. Point number two, choose your colors wisely. Colors have a psychological meaning, so the colors that you decide to go with for your brand is very, very important to helping it being, uh, being remembered over the long haul of your company. For example, red implies power, yellow implies optimism, and black implies sophistication. So whatever your model or what you're trying to portray, choose your colors to align um, as close as possible to your brand because this will help you build a strong brand. Point number three is develop brand rules and use them. It's very, very simple. The last thing you want to be doing is changing your format ever so often. But by having a brand rule in place, this will make sure that you're using and what you're putting out is constantly going, is constantly uniform, making sure your brand is the same and people can, back to point number one, pick you out from, from a crowd. So by having a simple style guide in place, for example, the name of the font you use, the name of, of the, the color code that you use, making sure everything is the same, this will help you achieve that goal. Point number four, establish a strong visual style. As I say, the industry is a competitive place and you definitely want to stand out. So by establishing a strong visual style, this will make it easier for your customers, your potential customers to pick you out from, from the crowd uh, by using visually engaging and visually aesthetically pleasing um, images. This will definitely help you get to that goal. Point number five, make sure your logo is front and central but you don't want to overdo this. What do I mean by this? Every material that you're putting out there, if you can incorporate your logo, this will help you go a long way. For example, our blog posts, the thumbnail, our logo is always there. The cover photos, our logo is always there. Our social media posts, our logo is always there. It's not big, massive in the middle where it becomes, uh, it becomes annoying. It's just subtle in the lower corner, whether it's the left or right. This helps us promote our logo, which promotes the brand, and whenever people look at our content, they know that it's coming straight from us. And number six, use every opportunity to let your brand shine. That I've touched up with a number five, it's, it's very, very similar. So whatever content you're posting out, if you can incorporate your logo into it, this will help you go further and build a strong brand. And that's all we have for you for the first part. Tune in to next week, to find out the next six points. And if you like what we've covered or have anything to add to it, leave your comments in the comment section below. Make sure you like and share, and don't forget to subscribe. We post a video every week, so you don't wanna miss out on the value we're providing. Till next week, that's all we have for you today. Bye for now.